Hi there. We are back with our poem from Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Today's poem is called For Sale. One sister for sale, one sister for sale, one crying and spying young sister for sale. I'm really not kidding. So who'll start the bidding? Do I hear a dollar, a nickel, a penny? Oh, isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't there any? One kid who will buy this old sister for sale? This crying and spying young sister for sale? Oh, I feel sad for the sister. So let's see her. Look at her. She's crying over there, but that brother seems like he's fed up. He is over it. I don't know, I didn't hear anybody start bidding for the sister. And I don't think it's okay for you to wanna to sell your sister or your brother, even if they bother you, even if they annoy you, you still have to be their brother or sister. And if you remember what's in our classroom, that big sign that says kindness, yep, changes everything and maybe the first and second and third and 10th and 20th time you're kind, your brother or sister won't care, but maybe it will make the difference. Always be kind. Okay, and back to our book, What If You Had Animal Teeth by Sandra Markle and illustrated by Howard McWilliam. And today's animal is a hippopotamus, also called a hippo. A hippopotamus's front teeth are long strong pegs with very sharp edges. They're powerful weapons, so opening wide to show them off helps hippos scare away their enemies and the males to win a mate. That means get a girlfriend or a wife. The fact is in an orange circle today. Because a hippo's teeth don't yellow over time in the past, they were made into dentures. So some people used to eat with hippo teeth including the first U.S. president, George Washington. What? So they're saying because hippo teeth didn't get yellow, they would use them to make dentures for people who lost their teeth. Can you imagine having a hippo tooth in your mouth? Didn't look like a hippo tooth because it was made to look like a human tooth, but still. If you had hippopotamus front teeth, you'd never need to brush. Your upper teeth would grind against your lower ones, keeping them clean and white. And oh my goodness, <laughs> look at what she looks like. So here's the real hippo. There's our little fact circle. And there are their teeth and look at his tongue. Ooh. And here is what we might look like if we had hippo teeth. I say this every time, but I'm really glad I have human teeth and not any of these animals that we've had so far. Even though they're great and they all have a purpose for these animals, I'm really glad we don't have them. Well, oh, tomorrow's animal. Hmm. Take a guess, what do you think tomorrow's animal is going to be? Hmm. Mm, no. Oh, you might be close. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's a Bengal tiger. Come back tomorrow if you wanna to know about Bengal tiger teeth. I hope you like this book. I know it has some silly pictures, but it really is teaching us something and I'm enjoying reading it. Well, you can always write about it and then email me. Still miss you. Still we wish we were in our classroom. Have a good one, bye.